so we have a philosophy that we call diaper genie feedback. If you ha have ever been around a baby, and they, instead of the old-fashioned diaper pails uh, these days, there are these things called diaper genies. And the idea is that uh, you take the poopy diaper and you put it in and you give it a crank and then it doesn't smell so bad anymore. And we find that happens in organizations all the time, right? So somebody says, oh, there's a problem there. This person's behavior is really creating a negative work environment. Or, oh, wow, this is having a negative impact on the customer experience. But I can't really tell my boss how bad it really is, so let's put it in the diaper genie and give it a crank. And so then they give it to their boss, and their boss looks at the problem and says, hmm, well, uh, it, you know, I see it's a problem, but I don't really want to let the senior executives know how bad it is because we've had a couple other similar problems, so let me pop that in the diaper genie along with the other problems and give it a crank and lift it up. And by the time it gets to the people that really need to see the feedback, it doesn't really smell like a problem anymore. And it happens going downhill too, right? Well, we've got, to, we've got to have some really bad news here, but we better sugarcoat it and put some talk points around it, right? And then we get it down. By the time it gets to the front line, the employees aren't really hearing the truth. And I believe it happens in interpersonal conflict as well. Right? And so people say, well, I want to put this, do the sandwich technique, right? I'm going to say something nice, and then I'm going to say what I really mean, and then I'm going to say something nice, and they hand it. And the person says, hey, I'm doing all right. They said two nice things, right? And they can't hear the truth. So we have a, a no diaper genie feedback a philosophy that we teach. To, and then we give a technique, which we call the INSPIRE model, which is a way to give really tough feedback in three minutes. Because what happens most of the time when people are giving feedback is that if it's negative, they either don't say it enough and they aren't direct, or they go on and on and on and make a very uncomfortable situation for everyone. And so our INSPIRE technique really gets you to say the truth that needs to be said in a caring way that it has the person's best interest at heart. And the ability to give feedback like that uh, is predicated on having a relationship with the other person. You know, feedback outside of the context of a relationship is very difficult. So if you've got the relational focus and together interpersonally you're focused on results. So it's the foundation of everything that a leader is doing looking out of themselves. It's, it's about results, it's about relationships. So if you build that context and that atmosphere, it helps everybody be able to have the conversations they need to have with one another to stay focused on those things. Yeah. And we teach people that when you begin a conversation like that, start with, I really care about you and I want you to be successful. And it's hard then, both for you to say something nasty after that or for them to be on the defensive. When you start by making that human connection and then go on to give the candid feedback that you need to be talking about. The, the solution for managers to be able to blend the bottom line with the human spirit, right? It, twofold. First is what are you cultivating inside yourself? And that comes back to confidence and humility. Uh, are you cultivating your confidence that you're going to stand in your truth, that you're going to set audacious goals, that you're going to you know, say what needs to be said? Uh, are you cultivating humility, recognizing the dignity in other people, uh, that you have answers but other people have answers, inviting challenges to your thinking and taking responsibility when you screw up. So internally, starting with confidence and humility and blending those gives you a foundation to be able to lead.